guys, Gigi Pug Sky here, and I have the Crayola Signature Blending Markers. I got this a while ago and just kind of forgot about it. Um, so yeah, it's 14 markers with two colorless blenders for a total of 16 uh, markers. And I've got their Crayola Marker Watercolor Pad. Probably not the greatest marker paper in the world. But let's see what this is and maybe we'll compare it to the Ohu marker since they're the 40 set since they're it's about um twenty dollars. That's it. They're about twenty the Ohu markers for the 40 set is twenty dollars. This I bought at Michael's for about twenty dollars. I don't remember if that was with the coupon or without the coupon. So there's that. Here's the back of the packaging. So we got red, orange, yellow, canary, green, sea green, blue, cornflower, violet, wisteria, bubblegum, peach, slate, black, and the two colorless blenders. I'm thinking the colorless blender was probably similar to the colorless color changer for the Crayola color change, which I know those were um, water-based with some sort of like chemical reaction to react and you're basically the colorless blender was bleaching the colors to make them change similar to what you do in the sunlight if you put construction paper in the sunlight and it changes colors so and i know the website says that the color blender is more like an eraser i've seen a few people on youtube use it i just wanted to test them out myself i like dueling with you know ones that don't bleed all over the place so here's the inside. So we've got two trays here. What I like to do is just pop a tray in and you move it aside or set it like that and you've got a nice area. So I'm going to do just that over here. Hopefully it doesn't fall off the table. And here's the marker paper. So let's take bubble gum here and let's see what this is like. Okay, now truth to test, as you can see here, it does bleed through on this paper, so instead of ruining another piece of paper, sometimes I will put cardboard in and do it, but this pad of paper is like $3, and you know what, I have some nieces that the, would be like perfect for. So let's go to my marker paper which does not have its uh, lid anymore. And let's see, let's reset marker paper. I got this on clearance at Michael's, so there is that. Let's see what this is like on this paper here. And as you can tell, it's going on quite Wait smoothly, not like beating up. It might beat up on regular paper. The other signature one that I do have is the dual tip brush markers because I was getting into brush markers and I did this piece last um, Inktober because it is water based ink. So there is that. So let's do a test here. See? Perfect. No bleed through. Perfect marker paper. So. Let's just test these out here. Like I said, I started recording this and then I previewed it and on a different camera. And yeah, the cameras are going to be good for pictures only or when I can watch. So, so far we've got nice, vibrant, vibrant colors. I can talk, really. Well, Crayola is like known for that. If you've ever used any Crayola products, you know. Um, so far, so good. Uh oh, we have a dead one. So, um, cornflower is dead, which I have noticed a lot of people are getting one color that's dead no matter when they buy it. Some buy it and like open it, like I bought this today and shown you. So, I'm actually going to put this in water and see if it rehydrates. So, let us know if it's water soluble. So, I'll set that one aside here and keep going with the colors. I really like that. That's probably one of my favorite colors. It's like the seam foaming green color you get. 
They call it sea green, but I know most often that color is like sea green. Or not sea green, uh, sea foam green. Green. There's canary. There's a nice color too. Um, well, like I said, I'm thinking about comparing this with a Hulu, which is probably not the cheapest, but pretty darn cheap. Um, I got it for Christmas, the Ohu set, and was using it at the Super Bowl, and my family is, like, super impressed. The peach is weird looking. It's, like, I would consider that more like a light orange rather than a peach, but I've noticed these drying might change. Don't know anything about light fast on these, but probably not very light fast. Most kitty products aren't. And these are like upgrades, so you know you upgrade from doing Crayola markers. You got the Pipsqueak markers, then you upgrade to the regular washable markers, then you can upgrade to like the super tips, and this might be after that. Now the black is more like a blue gray, dark blue gray. Than the syringe. So that's what we've got for these, and as you can tell, on the good marker paper it doesn't bleed through so my thoughts are not quite sure these are completely water soluble maybe a formula let's um let me do some other swatching things here so let's pick red and blue and see how they blend because they are blending markers right so let's just put a good swap here now, I do like the things, and mind you, I have no idea really what I'm doing here because I'm just barely starting out with markers. So they sort of blend, but you can see like the difference. Maybe if I do a smaller swatch where I'm switching faster, I really have no idea what I'm doing. So they sort of blend together. You got like a purpley blob. Now, I remember drawing with Waffles when she did this, so I'm going to test it out here. Let's take yellow and bubblegum, and we'll just do bubblegum and the yellow on top. So they do sort of mix to make another color. Hey, it's a problem with using yellow, but it does come off fairly easy compared to, to the old saying of... Once yellow touches another color, it'll never go back. But, um, let's be. Let's do another set of swatches here real fast. Just to see what the colorless blender does with them. Oh, and they do that. I am just so used to using my Ohu markers, which the cap does not fit on the lid. The cap does not fit on the other end. That's what I was trying to say. Wow. But yeah, I really like these markers. And if they don't bleed on regular paper, which is something that I will definitely try, I might be able to use these in some of my coloring, adult coloring books. Yes, I do have coloring books. Don't know that I'll use the blender. And we'll do another test like this and see what the blender does with them. And like I was saying, by no means. I was going to point out as it's drying here, it is drying more of the Crayola peachy color. I used to have the Super Tip set. Um, so. And the orange is drying a little darker than... Now with my Ohu markers, I'm not going to be able to match them exactly the same. I'll show you in a minute when I finish up testing these out and try to find my colors. But let's let's see what this does. I see on the yellow one, it's making a difference. Canary, you can't really see anything going on. But there's the yellow. Here's peach. It is doing something with the peach. Yeah, I'd say these are probably 
very similar to them from what I remember. I used to have one a couple of years ago and they just did it and last my first apartment. But yeah, these are kind of erasing. It's picking up the color, but it's not transferring it really over here. So some of it is reacting better than others. But yeah, I see this is more like that bleach name. And okay, the black it does pick up very well. Just doing this and then getting like that tip to tip technique. So I'll try that technique too. Hey, I know stuff. May not know exactly what I'm doing, but I am learning. Because alcohol markers have always been one that I want to get into. I've always been scared. Okay, the darker colors it will pick up from just doing this, like rubbing it. As you can see, some of the lighter colors it's actually like not doing much. Like it changed these two, it changed, but these are just making a blob of different spatial. Yeah, with Siri is another one, then it, it like changed the color a little bit. And it's one it can pick up and you kind of make like a scarlet vermilion color with. And yeah, on the pink, it's transferring, like changing the color. So let's take. Let's take green here and try the tip to tip method. So the tip to tip method, you're supposed to just touch the tips together and it's supposed to take one way or the other. It's not really getting any color here, but it is changing the color of the tip. So you can do the tip to tip method, but it's more transferring the colorless blender to lighten up the tip. Oh, there we go. I got a little bit on here. So you can do the tip to tip method a little bit. So you can do that. Now, what I want to try, let's, let's get these here. blue, get the red. Okay, we've got a little bit of the blending. So I was a little faster on that, but let's see what this does for the blending. Well, not really much of anything except for erasing the part that it's by. Oh, it did kind of pick up the color that it kind of made. So it's like picking up the color and then you can like use it that way. Wee! So that is one thing that you can do is have a piece of paper and swish the colors together to pick up the color that it made and get. Yeah, see that there? That kind of reminds me of like cleaning the color changing. So I would say they probably upgraded their color changing formula and did this and then I'm not sure what base this is. Um, so that is what we can do with those. I would say these are a good upgrade for some kid who is getting into art and watching a lot of YouTubers who use alcohol based markers and let me tell you those are a pretty penny considering Prismacolor, which is supposed to be overall great to use for everybody, is $6.99 per marker at Michael's, Joann's, well, Joann's isn't solemn, but Michael's and Hobby Lobby. Um, if you have a book in your area, that would be the way to go, or online, and because they have really good prices on sets. Amazon's got some decent prices. I know I've gotten the six pack of the brush markers for them and the 12 pack. I'm not sure how much people paid because they bought me 
gifts because I'm an artist. So let's um, pull out my Uhuhu markers. And one thing I was going to tell you, I do have Uhuhu where I did a comparison. But this is my red, number 15. And I'm going to show you this compared to this red here. Although on the marker paper, it's more of a maroonish red than on some of my other paper. But uh, the cap says it's bright red. It should be about like that. And that's what you get. So there is that. So let's see here. Let's grab out greeny colors. And see, 48 is also a green color. Okay, let's go with greens first and see what we can find here. Let's see here, there's that one, I don't think this one's going to match anything, it's more of an olive green, jade green color, nope, this one might be the closest we've got, yeah okay this one's close, so I'm going to set that one up there think this one is either nope okay Get my oranges because I only have two of those and my skin tone color which I think is gonna be too light yeah see although it does sound like it's dry but I know it's not not that it matters I do use it a lot I have a fluorescent yellow or orange. I do have a fluorescent on yellow too. So I'm going to pull this one out because it is orange. It's not really going to match well like I said. These are darker, more vibrant. Let's get out yellows. Let's see what we've got. That's more of a golden yellow. So that's the wrong side. Same again on the side. Okay, that's about close to the actual yellow I have. And this is the fluorescent, which is basically gonna look like a highlighter. Uh, let's see what else do we've got? Well, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat that my black and black is not gonna match. This is the black, and that's actual black. But I think this blue gray that I have is going to keep on the wrong cap is gonna match that. Yeah, see that matches a lot better. So let's see here. I don't think I've got anything in the way of the rays that is gonna work. This is more of a blue gray and I've got warm grays, cool grays. And then one, one blue gray is my dark color. Ew. Okay, that's gross to find out. So I don't use that color very often. I'll have to clean that if I remember. You can tell which colors I use, which ones I don't. That might be close if it was a blue gray. Okay, well, let's see here. Purple could be next. More of a pink. Pull out pinks too. I have this down in my lab. Not really matching. Okay, that is pretty close. See what these other ones look like. Nope, that's more of a bluish. Purples are so hard to find, like tones, and that's not. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with this one. So let's check out the pinks here. Oh, my marker's creating a shadow. I 
would say I have a winner right off the bat. Look at there. Well, that makes it easy. I'm going to say this one might be the closest that I have. It's going to be, yeah, see, it's even so too dark, but I'm going to go with that one for that. And, yeah, that's about all I've got. So, I'm going to come up with a drawing. I think I'm going to print it out on cardstock and see what that just A little fox and a cup of noodles. That it would be appropriate and I can see what I can do with the colors. I've got, so top will be the Crayola and the bottom here will be a hoo-hoo. And let's see how they go. So we've got our comparison here, and our just the Crayola, which honestly, outside of a little bit here where I tried to do detail to see how well it layered, where you could barely see the wisteria on it, I actually like these markers. I really do. They have a nice solid color. I mean, that I don't know how you can do like layering, like doing... I will probably be experimenting with these more, maybe doing the, let's see how it does, by using the lighter colors and darkening them up. But overall, I like it. The comparison with the Uhuhu, as you can tell, this is the Uhuhu here, and this is the regular one. Got some splashiness, but that's just me not knowing how to, how to color with markers well. But I actually like that even though the splashiness is there, it looks more like a faded, not like a bad coloring job. So overall, I would say Uhuhu is a good choice for beginners wanting to get into alcohol markers. They're chisel nib and bullet nib, but these Crayola blenders, I actually find it to be a cool medium. And if you're not wanting to pay the price of basically 7 to $8 per marker, or even get into alcohol-based markers, Picking this up and just playing around with it and learning how markers work and brush pens, I'd say it was great. I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah, I did get a color, but you know, outside of that, I really enjoyed using these. Hope you enjoyed the comparison of seeing how these work, and I will see you later. Box catch you later.